So here's something a lot of people don't know about me. After my son was born, I was... So I've grappled with depression, mild depression, twice in my life. Once in 2008, when I had just come into Nepal, mm. I was trying to find my feet around here. I didn't speak the language. I didn't have any friends outside of my house. And at that point, I was diagnosed with jaundice, right? Na? That this was not like sajilo jaundice. This was garo, deadly, dangerous khali jaundice, mm. right? Na? Ani char mahina samma, I also had typhoid, but it went undiagnosed. So I was in and out of the hospital. I went back to Calcutta because I could not deal with anything. I had yeah. lost drastic amounts of weight. I would eat one meal in eight days, six days. And then that whole, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? I'm a gold medalist in economics. You know, all of that started coming in. I hated my life. Then after my son was born, I had postpartum blues. I'm not going to call it full-blown depression, but I was very upset. I think I felt very caught up. 14% of all women go through this. It's just that we don't know about Can it. Can you explain it a little bit What is deeper? postpartum? Yeah, please. Uh, when, you, when you give birth to a child, you know, you suddenly realize there's a huge sense of responsibility that you didn't have earlier, right? So it would range from all sorts of things. For certain people, it's about, I'm not feeling connected to my baby. I've just given birth and this is my child. I want this baby, but I'm not feeling connected to my baby. It starts from there up till I want to kill myself. It could be any range of that. And I had that as well. I had a mildish one, I would certainly say. So I remember one day, uh, I think seven, eight days after my son was born. And it's a horrible thing to say, but uh, my mom was with me. And I told mm. her, mom, um, don't leave me alone in the room with him. I might do something. I just told her this much. And my mom was like, what are you saying? And you know, yeah. like her maternal instincts. And then she screamed at me and she's like, how can you be like that? I said, just don't leave me alone in the room. Oh. I said this and I cried and cried because I said this, but I needed to verbalize it at that point, right? Mm. So all of these struggles I was going through, I put on tons and tons of weight. 2018, I lost that weight. I started working on myself. And, you know, I put in so much of effort to not be in that space that I'm scared of that space. Yeah. My, my, the truth is I'm scared of being that person again, not just the depression. I, it went away after my son was slightly older. It went away by itself. I worked a lot, but it went away. I realized I wasn't a happy person then. Yeah. And I love what I do. My work gives me so much of joy getting to have these conversations. All of this gives me so much of joy that I want to be this person. Yeah. I'm so motivated. I'm running away from that maybe in a way. Maybe this is my escape. Maybe this is my joy. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I'm so glad that I get to live this life. Fair enough. That yeah. I'm, I don't need anybody outside to motivate me. I need absolutely no external factors. It's within. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify. This program is brought to you by Vyas Studios.